can't say enough about Peter Ralston. He's an exceptional martial artist, an exceptional person, exceptional researcher, exceptional teacher, generous, gifted. Okay, so all I want is, you know, the answer. The answer. Yes, the answer. Well, as I've been known to say, seek out the truth, not the answer. Help me make the distinction. The truth is the truth, an answer is an answer. You know, an answer is like a word or something or a phrase, something we have. You know, the truth is whatever is true. So you're talking about uh, creating a beautiful world. Nothing wrong with that. I'm still teaching, yes. Try, trying to get out, but, <laughs> you know. This is you thought you were out. They suck you back in. Yeah, yeah that's right. There are people, they probably have heard your name or something, but they don't really know what it is you do. And uh, why you're still teaching after all these years besides you need to eat. Well, there's two, uh, two aspects, I think, for me, as besides the eating part, which I enjoy. Um, and that is, uh, I enjoy doing it. And I enjoy sharing it with people. Because, you know, what I do is very, um, well, it's a lot of fun, it really is. Uh, and there's, there's just so much you can learn from it, you know? And I, and I like sharing that with people. It's just really great stuff. And mostly now what I'm working on is the consciousness work. I do almost all the consciousness work. For example, at the center here, when I first started, we did um, one week of consciousness a year and uh, seven weeks of Marshall. And now I do two weeks of Marshall and six weeks of consciousness work. So it's changed a lot of time. Yeah. You know, but... Marshall is much easier to do, much easier to teach, much easier to work with, you know, and much easier to sell. You know, it's easier to, to enroll people in something that's that they can grasp readily, more readily than, you know, or and the promise of it is something, you know, more tangible than the consciousness work. But I really enjoy it. I, I enjoy doing it. Even when I was, I was trying to retire back in the 90s, I moved to Hawaii. <laughs> And, uh, but still, I had the idea of, you know, having a, a place where I would do the conscious work, contemplation and stuff like that, you know, invite people into that. And one thing, not, not necessarily the, the only thing, is I would like people to grasp, especially, say, like, you know, in the world that you're talking about, Aikido, etc., is that everything we do, everything we perceive, and everything we are is an invention. It's all inventions. It's all made up. None of it is fixed and none of it is real. You see, and, and when we start getting, no matter what it is, and when we start getting, it's all an invention that gives us a different relationship to it. And so then we can begin to create a different invention if that's appropriate. Perfect. And at least not be stuck or wed in, you know, what we've created so far. Yeah, if you, if you look at our own emotions and our own thinking and perspectives as, as also inventions, we say, oh, well, is this invention working well, you know, for me? Is this really what I want to live? Is this what I give my life to? Yeah. And a lot of times the answer is no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm just waiting this out. <laughs> no. yeah. I don't want to give my life to this. Well, then stop giving your life to it. Yeah. And that can be, you know, easier said than done. Well, it's easier done than said, but, you know, <laughs> if you don't do it, it's really hard.